Hey guys, this is Miss Bolin, and today we're going over adding and subtracting polynomials. Okay, today you'll be super excited to know that we're going over polynomials, which everything that you have learned about combining like terms and carrying the negative, that all applies now. Okay, so for example, when you're adding, it says combine like terms. So the like terms are anything that has the same exponent. So the ones that are alike are the 3x squared and the 8x squared. So all you have to do is add 3 plus 8 and that's 11x squared. For the next one, your next term is the x term. So you have the 5x minus the 3x. Well, 5 minus 3 is 2x. And then for the 10, you have a negative 10 because it's the sign that's in front of the number, negative 10 plus 2, and that gives you a negative 8. Okay, and then that is exactly how you add polynomials. The negatives are a little bit different. Okay, if you have a negative or if you're subtracting, that's the same thing. So you're going to carry through the subtraction and then combine like terms. So carrying through the subtraction just means that you're going to distribute the negative so you would distribute the negative throughout this whole term because the negative sign or the subtraction sign goes to every single term. So you would have negative 4x squared and negative 4x and then negative 6. Okay, then after you distribute the negative, that's when you can combine like terms. Okay, so we can combine the x squareds. So 5x squared minus 4x squared. That will give you 1x squared or x squared. Then we have negative 4x and then a negative 4x. Keep in mind, negative 4 minus negative 4 is going to give us a negative 8. That's why we have negative 8x. Okay, and then we have the plus 6 and the minus 6 and that just cancels out to be zero, so we don't have to write that. So when we're adding, we'll add just like we would everything else, but we're only adding the, ones, the terms that have the same exponent and the same term. And when we're subtracting, we're going to distribute the negative first, then you can combine the like terms. Okay, for our first example, I want you to write down example one. You have k to the third power minus 7k plus 2k squared plus 8k squared plus 7k to the third power and 5k. Okay, some of you might be thinking, should I distribute the positive? No, you should not because distributing the positive is not going to have any effect on that side of the polynomial. So what you want to first start with is you want to find some way to highlight or underline things that are the same. So here I have k to the third and 7k to the third. Those are the same. So I'm going to be combining those. And then I have 2k squared and then 8k squared. And those are the same. And then I have negative 7k and then I have a 5k. And notice how usually these are in order. Um, they usually are ordered by their polynomial. So if I were to write this in order, it would usually be k to the third power plus 2k to the second power minus 7k. And their exponents would be kind of in order. But sometimes it's not written like that. So you have to be very careful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and combine these. So I can combine the k to the third and 7k to the third, and notice that if it's just k to the third, there's actually a 1 right there. So it's really going to be 8k to the third, because we're only adding the coefficient. That is the number in front of it. So we have 7 plus 1, and that's going to give us 8k to the third. Okay, the next one we have 8k squared, and I'm going to do these in order because I like them lined up like this, the 3, 2, 1 in order. 
So next one is the squared. So 2 plus 8, we're adding the coefficients. That's going to give us 10, and then we just keep the term k squared. And then for the last one, we have a negative 7 and a plus 5. So if you have a negative 7 and a plus 5, and if you're bad with integers, go ahead and write it out. Negative 7 plus 5. Okay, the bigger number is 7, and it has a negative. So obviously your answer is going to be a negative. So negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. So you're going to put negative 2k. Okay? And this is our polynomial. And we added. So good job. You did your first polynomial problem. Okay, here's our next example. Example 2 is a subtraction problem. So I want you to go ahead and write out m to the third power plus 4m to the fourth power plus 1 minus, okay, all in parentheses, 3 plus 6m to the third power minus 8m to the fourth power. And remember always, if you have a negative or if you're sub subtracting anything, you always, always, always have to distribute this negative to each term first. Do not try to add these without distributing. So we, that would become a negative, so negative 3, so the negative times 3 would be negative 3, negative times 6m would be negative 6m to the third. Oh, and look, this guy's already negative. Your negative 8m to the fourth is already negative. So what do we do? Negative times a negative, that's going to be the opposite, which is a positive. Okay, and then everything else we can just bring down. And then we're going to start combining the like terms now. Okay, easy peasy. So the m to the third power and negative 6m to the third power is the same. And then the 4m to the fourth power and 8m to the fourth power is the same. And then our constants, our regular numbers, 1 and negative 3 are the same. Okay, and we're going to combine them based on the term that's in front of them. Okay. So, for example, let's start with the highest degree, which is 4. So I'm going to do 4m, and look what's in front of it. There's a plus sign. So 4 plus 8m to the 4th. So that would give me a 12m to the 4th. Notice I'm using whatever sign's in front of there, in front of the second term. Okay, the next highest degree would be... 1m to the third, because remember there's a 1 in front of anything that doesn't have a coefficient. So coefficient of 1 and then minus, oh look, minus. So 1 minus 6. 1 minus 6, that's going to give me a negative 5m to the third. Okay, this minus sign, this negative sign is actually a subtraction sign. So you have to keep that in mind. And then I have positive 1, minus 3, okay? That's going to give me a negative 2. So you always have to keep in mind that the sign in front of each of these, this negative, this is a subtraction sign. These are subtraction signs. Even though they're negatives, they're subtraction signs. And then you have the positive, that's a plus sign, okay? And all of this is combined and simplified, so you did your first subtraction problem. Awesome! Okay, for your next example, it's another example of addition. And what I want you to do is write down the problem. 8 minus 2p squared plus 3p to the third power plus 5p squared plus 5 plus 7p to the third power. I want you to write this down, and then I want you to pause the video and work out the problem. Okay, coming back, I would have hoped that you would have combined or underlined the powers that were the same. So you have 3p to the third power plus 7p to the third power, which is 10p to the third power. Because remember, we add the coefficients and we keep the power. And then you have negative p squared 
which is negative 1p, squared. So negative 1 plus 5 is going to give you positive 4p squared. And then we have 8, and this is positive. Even though there's a subtraction sign after it, the subtraction sign goes with the 1p squared. There's nothing in front of it, so it's positive. So 8 plus 5, and that's going to give you 13. So I hope this is what you got when you combined your two polynomials. Okay, for our fourth example, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to copy down the problem, pause it, try to work it out, and then compare your answer to my answer. So, go ahead and copy down 3x to the third power minus 8 minus 4x to the fourth power minus, in parentheses, x to the fourth power minus 4 minus 5x to the third power. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try to work out the problem. Okay, coming back, you should have distributed the negative first to everything, every single term. So you should have a negative x to the fourth power, a positive 4, because remember, negative times a negative is a positive, and then a positive 5x to the third power. So I'm going to bring down the other polynomial. And then we can start combining. Okay, we're going to combine the highest degree first. So this 3x to the third plus 5x to the third is going to give us 8x to the third power. And then Ooh, I didn't see the 4. So we have a 4th power. We have negative 4x to the 4th, and then negative 1x to the 4th. So we have this negative 4 minus a negative 1. That's going to give us a negative 5x to the 4th. And then we would just put an addition sign because this is a positive. Any positives have addition and any negatives have the subtraction sign. Okay, next we can combine the numbers. So we have a negative 8 and we have a plus 4. So negative 8 plus 4 is going to give us a negative 4. Okay, and if you got this correct, you did your first subtraction problem correct. If you have any other questions, just make sure to ask me.